Hello everybody, today we're doing a video in, two, in a 2007 Audi A5 and we're installing the GTA car kit and uh, we'll start off with uh, what you'll need you'll need uh, very few things uh, you'll need the radio removal keys you'll need the Phillips screwdriver and uh, we suggest using a towel like this to cover the dash so when you take out the radio you can rest it on here and not scratch anything so we're gonna take our keys and uh, very easy just put them in facing uh, to the inside and uh, make sure they click uh, just like that and uh, the last key is behind the radio there so you have to uh, kind of Turn on the radio and press this button so you can see the hole there and can just put in the, the key in here also facing the inside just like that until it clicks then you can close it and that's when uh, you're ready to make sure you shut it off again and then uh, uh, start uh, taking out the radio carefully, like side by side, kind of playing around with it, just like that. It might be like you have to see where it catches, and if it still catches in some corner, you can just uh, pull it. If if you pull it. To outward it will unlock the the key in the back and so we're just gonna pull out the radio and the next step is to remove the keys and to remove the keys it's very easy you have to press on here like on the corner to release it we press it and we take it out same on this side just like that don't just yank on them they're not gonna come out you have to press on this on the sides and that's when you're gonna be able to take out the the keys so once you took out the keys we're gonna be here in the back of the radio as you can see there's this connection right here you don't have to disconnect the whole thing because if you do you're probably gonna need the radio code so we can just press the this little pin here and pull out this blue plug and uh, now we're gonna take our GTA car kit it's uh, assembled half the way because we already ran the cables and I'll show you that in a sec but uh, so this is gonna go into the back of the radio the blue plug that we took out is gonna go in here and this is the ground which is which is very important you have to put it on the back of the radio so we're gonna uh, rest the radio make sure you don't scratch anything I'm gonna plug in the blue one in there the GTA car kit there's also there's this the, the screw is right here so you can use any screw you, your radio might look different but this screw is pretty convenient here so that's the one we're gonna use and our screw dropped somewhere in the in the towel here, right here. I'm just gonna put the ground. Some radios are also black, they don't have like uh, clear metal on them, so we suggest uh, sending it down a little bit, like around where you're gonna put the ground. Because on this radio, it's metal to metal. I saw some Audi radios which covered in black so make sure the ground is there because otherwise it's not it's not gonna work so the next step uh, is to because we already have our cables run the both the auxiliary cable and the iPod cable are already run so how I did it is that this car had this uh, hole right here it was not like that, it was closed before, but it's pretty easy to punch it out. You just have to go 
around the edges with a screwdriver and this small plastic piece around here comes out and then you can run the cables and they're just straight through uh, very easy to pull them through you can reach with your hand and uh, pull out the cables and uh, we're gonna go ahead and connect our uh, module to the cable and that's the iPod and the uh, auxiliary make sure this one uh, this piece is all the way in we're just gonna rest it in the back for now um, in order to show you how everything works make sure you test everything before you put everything back because uh, it, it would be pretty bad if you run the cables you put everything back and something is not working so make sure the radio is off and that you take out the keys to reset the modules you can like I can hear that the radio it has a fan on the back once you take out the key it's the fans just stop running so I'm gonna put it to first position turn on our radio we're gonna start off with our regular radio we're gonna take our first generation iPod touch the kit will work with all the new iPhones 4s and 3GS and uh, it will charge them too so we're gonna press the CD button and uh, it's gonna show CD4 track 7 so if you're listening to the auxiliary if you put it in it's gonna be showing you this but once you put in the iPod it's gonna it's gonna start charging and uh, as you can see it automatically goes to CD1 and uh, and this so you can listen to your music like right now it's playing the iPod already so you can also switch the songs from here as you can see I'm switching from the radio and when you take it out uh, it's gonna go back to CD4 uh, so and if you want to come back to your radio just press the radio button and right now it's an AM if you would have the CD inside the radio it would go uh, you'd have to press the CD button twice and uh, that's pretty much it make sure make sure everything works uh, the way it's uh, shown and uh, make sure it plays through all the speakers and uh, then you can start enjoying your GTA car kit in your Audi A5 or S5 with the uh, RNSC radio and uh, thanks for watching see you next time